Welcome back to the commercial break. Of course, your girl Corey is still at the back end. And the most exciting bit about it all is that you know what? We just had to have some coffee, something. This is how we chill, by the way. Mm -hmm. Well, Sadie the King herself still here with us. We're still going strong, by the way. Remember to join us on all our social media platforms Face TV Uganda. Follow me at Corey the Horse. And of course, send in whatever you want, whatever question for Cindy. I'm sure they'll be asking her straight away. Well, Cindy, I was still saying about the boom party. Yes. Concert. It was amazing, honey. Just know you made history. Oh, I'm I put saying. so much energy in it. I better have made history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just has to happen. I put too much of myself into yeah. that show. So when, when the show ended, I'm just, I'm kind of glad that the, the uh, lockdown started because yeah. I needed it's, it's a break. It's like you were signing us I out. needed <laughs> <laughs> I really needed a break, yes, yeah. yeah. Well, I believe you've also stepped so many stages even before you're on mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. So many, so many mm -hmm. great international acts you brought <laughs> shoulders with. Great yes. collaborations, I must say. We love every bit of it. Thank you. But then looking through all that, mm -hmm. you might have like, I think Cindy has another wish list. You know, is there that artist you have not probably done with that you just have on your bucket list and say, I have to work with this person? Mm, the artists I want to work with, I'm going to start from home, from yeah. here, yeah. from here. Um, uh, an artist that I'd love to work with is Winnie, Winnie Nwaji. Woo! I'd Fire, love to baby. work with her. I, I like her brand. I like her brand. That is going to be your um, Mac <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to work with her. I'm not in a hurry or anything, yeah, but yeah. She, she's just... She's somebody that, that I look at her career and I like how she has shaped it. Mm. I like how she has connected her brand to who she is and they are not, <clears throat> they're not separate. Mm. The brand is who she is and, and I really respect that. In this industry, it's very easy to pretend than to be yourself. Yeah. And the fact that she is unapologetically herself as a woman, I admire that. I know that it's not an easy thing yeah, to do. Yeah, not at all. Especially in, in the like industry, the I love her confidence. Yeah, so that's yeah. a brand that I kind of relate to and like, you know, yeah. from uh, from locally. Yeah. And uh, we, with the male artists, I still want to work with Baby Cool. I don't care how long <laughs> this collaboration has yeah. taken. I would still love, love to work with him. Okay. And then uh, moving outside, uh, I'd love to work with Yemi Alade. Woo! Yes. Do you know the fire? You guys are oh, yeah, just, they, just, yeah. I think you can see what I'm saying. I like women <laughs> who have that. There's yeah. that energy which I feel connects. Yeah. yeah. So those are my like dream collaborations in Africa. Wow. Yeah. But of course, through your stages, I realize you're always in this, you know, strong, I could say, you know, everyone has an identity with a stage. Yes. Like you say, it's like Sasha Fierce. Yeah. Who is Cindy Osei? She's the king herself. <laughs> <laughs> she is the king herself. When I come like for interviews and I meet people, they expect to see the king herself. But yeah. but I feel like if if I brought that to interviews, you would fail to in, to interview yeah. me. Yeah. yeah so the energy would be like hi. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Cindy Sanyu shows up for interviews and then on stage is the king herself. She's untouchable. She's unstoppable. Yeah. She's strong and limitless. Yes. Yeah. And that is my say vaginal Sasha Fierce, you know? Wow. So mine is the king herself. Yeah, yeah. girl, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're performing, what's the weirdest thing you've seen a fan do? And you're like, what? What, what was that? <laughs> well, I, I'm used, okay, I've been in the industry a while, so I got used to fans doing things you know yeah. but there was this fun in some i don't remember which village i was in outside town really yeah. outside town and, and she was a girl like me you know she was yeah. like pretty much you know like maybe 20 years old and between 18 and 20 yeah. and and she was feeling me like there's there's that bit of just touching you yeah but she was just feeling oh, me yeah. like and <laughs> it, it was weird it was so really creepy. creepy i'm like <laughs> Like, okay, when does this stop? Because she didn't stop. She kept, like, touching me and my thighs and my legs. And she was looking at me. And, and she took a while. Because usually it's like they want to touch you and run, you know? Because yeah. the cameras are there and the fans are watching. Yeah. But she didn't leave for, you know, for why she didn't leave. So it's like, eh. like, I didn't know what to do. My security didn't know what to do. Because my security doesn't want to bounce a chick, you yeah. know? Doesn't want to bounce a, bounce a girl. They think she's just going to come give money or whatever, show her appreciation and go. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking at my security they're looking at me i cannot tell them come and bounce this chick because she's a girl you know so that that for me was was weird i was i was uh, used to men doing that you know yeah. boys doing that there's a time i was on stage at a school and a boy came and carried me and, <laughs> and showed me to his friends oh like he carried me to the corner where his friends were <laughs> and then he brought me back it was 
think that was just uh, and all the students were like yay <laughs> like like he had just achieved something amazing yeah. yeah but that girl had to be my weirdest time on stage yes wow. mm. what about uh just you performing what is that one thing that you know probably came up and you're like what did i did he just fall but you just kept going i've i've fallen once i'm so lucky I've, i i it's weird with all my dancing and my crazy on stage i'd never really fallen until this one time yeah. and but it was a good fall because i actually fell on the fan yeah. i didn't fall on the ground yeah <laughs> and of course i came up like a star right? yes it did. <laughs> <laughs> it did like i was worried about her you know because i actually really fell on her like on her neck yeah. but she was behind me and i didn't know she was there so i'm doing my choreography and on stage i have so much energy like when i'm moving anything if my hand got you i would you understand like you would yeah. fall like yeah. i'm using so much energy so i'm dancing and then i move back and she's right behind me So I fall with her and then I like sit on her neck. So when I got up I'm like, "Honey, are you <laughs> sorry? Are you okay? I'm sorry." So <laughs> that was that was the only time. Then the other thing that's weird about stage is the yeah. things I've received <gasps> on stage. What have you received? I have received <laughs> weed. What? I've received cocaine. Jeez. I have oh my god like somebody would just come and put it in my hand like that then and, and then I didn't know because I think it's money yeah? Yeah, yeah so I perform and I'm done so when I'm leaving backstage I'm like <gasps> what is that <laughs> like, cool. Now I see why sometimes you get this prayer for you have to be know. yeah it could be witchcraft or something you, that's the thing yes. you can never be sure what they're giving you on stage and you have no yeah. time to like get off the mic and know what they're giving you you know yeah. so they put a lot of people bring money and then there's this one person who gives you a love letter yeah. who gives you weed <laughs> who gives you, you know all that the contacts like you know 07 <laughs> blah 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 I love a and, boy. and you know all that this this flowers i was in sudan and i was giving a cow a goat <laughs> What did you and, do with that? Ah, uh, uh, I wish I could. I really wish I could bring it just to say somebody gave me yeah. a cow on stage, you know, because it came with it in the morning. Yeah. But while I was on stage, the guy was bringing his goats and he had his goats behind, and the security had to be like, "Okay, wait for her to leave the stage." But he's like, "But I want to give her the goat. I want to give her the goat." <laughs> You know it's a crazy thing to see. It's a crazy things we hear from our stars that we yes. probably don't believe it but yeah. yeah. You know, you've been in it definitely. Oh, that that has been crazy. I've received a child. <gasps> Yes, not no. like a baby baby, but like a, an 11 year old who somebody said take. take. <laughs> <laughs> like so she true. didn't care where I live yeah. nothing at all she saw me on stage brought her daughter yeah. and said take oh god just take my child like I know you teach her well yeah. I know she'll be fine you take <laughs> and, she, and she can follow me I'm like oh my god I guess she's giving me her child <laughs> yeah so <laughs> A lot of things. Oh, a lot of things. You know yeah. what? We will talk about it all right. Yeah. Like Google could even write a book. You should sure. write a book. I'm though. thinking about <laughs> it. I am. I am. Well, looking at all these venues, honey, I believe that there's that thing that probably that venue that intimidated you or mm. terrified you. Mm. Like, am I really gonna make it? Like, should I really step on the stage? Mm. What mm. stage is that? That was uh, in Rwanda. <clears throat> I was headlining with Davido. Yeah. and I was coming on just uh, just before before him wow. and for me that was huge yeah. it was yeah. really huge performing at the stadium because they have this the, this event that they have every year to remember their independence you know yeah. from uh, from that war they had from uh, that so that that event is very important for them and everybody yeah. shows up the president is there everybody's there wow. and then I'm headlining with Davido that was scary for me mm-hmm. I had to rethink everything and be like okay now these moves are they stadium moves you know yeah. i'd never really di- uh, doubted my choreography until that time I'm like but wow. does choreography fit in the stadium <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time i felt like inadequate in a way you know like am i ready for this but once i got on the stage and heard that uh noise from the crowd yeah i was like Woo. i'm good to go i love to say uh, eh. You know, hey, 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 that was, you know. <laughs> Now there you know. That the was I was around. good, man. And by the time I got to my last song and the president was up and his kids were dancing, I was yeah. like, yes. I done it. I did it. <laughs> yes. So that was the first time I was scared. Well, I love yeah. to say congratulations on your new uh, you joined the fashion world. Mm, yeah. Yes. Uh, the bride of Yes, I've the bride of Sim. 
Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited actually. It's, I, it's, it's really a good. new thing. Yeah. I am nervous, but I'm excited. Yeah. I'm happy about it. it. It just happened when I started looking for a gown for myself because my wedding is in December. Yeah. When I started looking for my gown. Exclusive. <laughs> yeah, you've heard it here <laughs> first. And, and then when I was looking at gowns, I started looking at these beautiful gowns, which I could not wear, obviously, because, yeah. 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 So when that happened, I was like, God, I love these dresses. I yeah. want to buy them. I want to buy them. So I bought my first, second, third, fourth. It, you know, next thing I knew, I'm buying gowns. Yeah. And then I said, you know what, let me do this because my heart, you know, I, I love it. When I look at them on the dummy and on somebody, I'm like, oh, oh yeah. so pretty. Yeah. So I like to do business that connects with, with what I love. Yeah. So that is how I started the Cinderella Bride. Yeah. And yeah, and we're getting into, yeah, into the bridal I've business. Seen a few brides that look beautiful. Yes. I love that. Thank That's quite you. amazing. And mm. of course, with that, definitely I'm going to ask you a few. Now, if we were to get into this fashion scene, if you're looking at heels mm. or flats, which one would you rather on stage? On stage right now, oh, heels are still better. Perfect. Heels are still better because they give you a better posture. You yeah, know, yeah. when you stand, it looks better when you're in heels. But of course, right now, I yeah, can't. I know. <laughs> no, I can't perform in heels right now. It'll be flats. We're looking at your fashion icons. Who would it be? I am not a fashion person. Yeah. No, I, I dress up Honey, according to how there. I feel. I know what you're saying. <laughs> but when I think about what you wear, I yeah. think about how I feel. I don't go and see what was this person wearing or what is the trend yeah. and all that I'm not into fashion at all I'm, I'm like into practical fashion yeah. can I wear it does yeah. it suit my body am I comfortable yeah. wearing it that is is what I'm more into so I can't tell you I have like a fashion icon yeah. mm -mm. No. <laughs> but you have people you look at and you're like, no, that, that person is fashionable. Dress, yeah, Spice Diana is, is yeah. very fashionable. Yeah. She's very up to date with her, you know, with her yeah. clothing and, and the pictures. And like, she really pays attention to fashion. Yeah. yeah. And I probably would, you know, go through her Instagram and be like, okay, what are girls wearing? Yes. Be like, go to Spice. Yes. Let's check her out. <laughs> I was looking at some of your glasses though. Yes. You know, yeah. you know, you know people do not know this, but the actually, sheds as well, a yeah. of mine was showing me, she was like, wait, do you know this? I'm like, no. Mm. Well, I look at the level of my like, chat app. <laughs> so see So you got it? to see it. Yes. Yeah. I've been having my sheds for about a year now. And yeah. they're doing well, especially for the guys. The guys are loving. Yeah. Are loving theirs. Yeah. So these for the female and then the males. Yeah. But the males are like really loving their, their sheds because I think those are really rare really rare to get yes yeah mm. well i must say right now you're the happiest right i'm happy <laughs> we, i'm I happy say, are you in the happiest job <laughs> right now <laughs> yes i am happy i mean I, I do miss the stage i cannot say i don't want to work again i definitely want to work again i want the mm. industry to i was open actually up. scared when i was seeing an article about mm. you know saying you're resigning i'm like what no who We're said that who said that oh. no <laughs> girl people right <laughs> no i'm not resigning it's just this post that i did because uh when my my daughter was saying bye to my girl mm. and she she was like mom you're always working we barely get time together so it made me think i can't wait to retire one day yeah. and just be there till she gets tired of me you know like just be there be there you know yeah. and and for that moment i felt like i can't wait to retire but people thought i am now getting ready to no yeah, yeah. no <laughs> <laughs> no well, we're still doing this well do you ever read a few you know comments that people send out on social media about you Mm, sometimes really most do? especially out of pressure yeah. like when my team is calling me like this you have to read this you have to read but otherwise i prefer not to yeah i prefer not to read what, what is that rumor you've had people write about you that you're like what that's not me the the rumor that i am an, an addict <laughs> i don't know where that Jesus. came from oh but it just stuck it has really stuck to people that wow. that when i'm on stage i'm high Wow. Yeah, to the point that I get to stage and then promoters offer me drugs. They yeah. offer me weed. They offer me alcohol. I'm like, I, I don't do that. I get on stage and I'm absolutely sober. Yeah. What I need is food. I need to eat because <laughs> yeah. I, I need my energy. Yeah. But then that rumor has stuck. It has no picture. Yeah. It has no proof, yeah. but it just stuck that that you know Cindy is is an addict. Okay. Yeah. But what's that fact that you've seen? You've written about A fact. You? But you're like. This person knows me. I think knows. this one is writing me. Yeah, true. I think some people see my inner strength. Like people who admire my inner strength, I feel like those people see past. 
past the stage, past the costumes, and they see it takes a strong woman mentally to be who yeah. the king herself is. It's okay. not just masape or just pride, <laughs> eh? yeah. but it takes inside, it takes a woman who is strong mentally, who has accepted who she is and is not ashamed to, to project that, to show that on stage. Yeah. And those people are like, mm, you see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sydney, let's rank up your songs a little bit. Yeah. Like, if you want to look at... Um, from probably one to five or five to one. Uh, <laughs> of my music. Your music. Ooh. Probably let's look at also the love that you get from the fans from the music. <laughs> okay. Because of that is there's some songs you're like, this one has caught every fan. Yeah. Because you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Number five. Number five has to be the song that brought me to the industry and that is Ayucha Yay! Number four. Number four has to be Selector. Yo. Yes. I just had a baby and I'm trying to come back to the industry and it actually worked amazing for me. Nice. Uh, nice. Number three will be Still Standing. Yeah. It was a statement. <laughs> and, and people got it. Number two, I will say Copycat because it led to Boom Party. It led to the biggest part of my so career. Perfect. We're not number one. Yeah. For my body, baby. Yeah. You know, when that song drops, yeah. we all move like the oh, people, just so you know. I am glad. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Well, I'm so happy we are expecting a bundle of joy again. Yes. And I'm so happy you're finally in love. Oh, girl, you're killing us again. pictures on social media. We're like, girl, you're killing us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, it's a good now, time. Before we get to there, you know, mm. what's the best advice you've got there from your mom? From my mother, uh, growing up, okay. mom always told me that if you can't do something, move on to something you can do. Yeah. That has helped me so much in the industry because in the industry you find a lot of people or situations that yeah. you can't get past. Yeah. So it's it's easy to stay there and be stuck. Yeah. You know, it's easy to, to say, ah, now I can't go forward because this person has done this. This DJ yeah. has refused to play my music. This show has blacklisted me. Now I'm done, you know. Yeah. So there's always that, okay, uh, Corey has refused to interview you, wow. but how about this, this other guy, you yeah. know? Yeah. So in my mind, the things are not impossible. Yeah. She taught me how to, to compromise there's always a side b there's yeah. never for her it was never like it's done done there's always a solution you know eh? yes. yeah there's always a solution if i cannot drive a range rover what is so bad with an yeah. isd it's okay. Eh, it it's okay. okay you will still move isn't it yeah. go there you know so that that is a lesson I, I learned from her which i really appreciate wow so i never never accept defeat on anything nice you no know. how about the money what do you love about money every day about my daughter, just, yes. her, just her being my daughter. Are you a mom? <laughs> yes, I yes, am. Yes, just her being my daughter. I remember the fact when I just had her and they brought her to me. Yeah. I looked at her and kept thinking, this is not my child. Somebody's about to pick up their daughter. <laughs> Because she was so beautiful. She was, oh, she was amazing. I was like, this is mine, mine came yeah. from me, my flesh, yeah. me, you know? And I couldn't believe I had given birth to something so beautiful, so yeah. amazing. For me, that is it, just waking up and seeing her, yeah. And she's still my daughter, you know? Nobody can I wake know, up you, tomorrow you, you and really claim her. Dogs. It's, well, my boss said it. You I know, right? so many dogs. <laughs> <laughs> she's so hot. She's so pretty. But I also love the way you show it to the world sometimes, the way you post that. I saw her modeling and I was yes. like, wow. You see me accepted. She scared me. She scared star? me. I was like, no, you're not. Ever hey, again, I'm not doing this again. No, 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 no. no. Come on. No, 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 no. I was scared. I looked at her and I was like, <gasps> No, this is so dull. Oh, no, no, no. She has the attitude, the walk. And I'm like, no, 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 don't, don't, not now. I was scared for a bit, yes. But uh, <laughs> just a mom being a mom. Yeah. If I could protect her every second, I would. Well, Cindy, looking through, now you are the president of the Ugandan Music Association. Yes. So many challenges are coming through. Mm. You know, I feel like you have a lot of, you know, kids around you. I'm going to call them kids because mm. now they're like your babies. Mm, you know? mm. Everyone is crying, everyone wants this. A lot of pressure coming through. You as a present right now, what are you really going to do for all these artists? Everyone's mm. looking at you like a god right now. I like, understand oh, what you're Cindy, saying. Or tell Cindy, you know, what well, recently Cindy was saying, ah, I'm so depressed, I'm retiring from music. Mm. Oh, tell Cindy, oh, to just cost this one with debts. Oh, call Cindy. Yeah. Oh, you know, I was here and, and your boss was saying, we need to talk about the fees that you we see? pay for music. Mm -hmm. You know, so everybody's so, like, talk to Cindy, talk to Cindy. I know what you're saying. So, Cindy. 
the president. Yeah. yeah. What am I going to do for the artist? Yeah. Let's take one thing at a time. <laughs> we have a chance now and that's one thing yes let's take one thing at a time because yeah. if i look at everything it's impossible for me to do yeah. but if i look at one thing after another after another nothing is impossible to be done yeah. right now the biggest problem is putting artists together yeah. that is the biggest problem yeah. we are used to being independent everybody's used to being a star the own of their own empire kind yeah. of controlling yeah. their own destiny yeah. so it but it bothers artists to be under yeah. another artist yeah. and then they don't look at it as an association they Cindy I'm under Cindy mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah, so that's, taking that's that mindset taking that mindset away from them is that you're not under me there's a whole association I'm going to leave when my time is done mm -hmm. so this association is supposed to represent you not not Cindy you know because I'm yeah. not putting you under my label yeah. no but I'm put, let's come together because that's the only way we can get what we need right now Yeah. If the industry was open, who needs the government? I know. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> who needs right. to come together? Yeah. I go do my gigs, get my money and go home. Yeah. I don't need to sit with you and agree with you. Yeah. But the problem is we are in this dilemma. Yeah. And we need one voice and and that's what I'm fighting for right now. So we have over 4,500 members right now yeah. and we're garnering for 20,000. That's what we're like. That's wow. where we want to go because when you speak with a voice of 20,000 nobody can ignore you. Yeah, yeah. That is what I want. So if I can get that, we yeah. can move on to the next. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited for that one honestly, but now that we know, we know mm. we're going to go to another level because you know what? Face to be playing the music all day. So we're oh, yes. we're already playing parts. Absolutely. Already Absolutely. No, you guys have no idea what you're doing for the industry. Yeah. I don't know how to thank you, you yeah. know, because you're the first to have showed that we're actually going to do this and stick at it. Yeah. Because I, at first I thought, huh, these guys are going to do this for six months. Yeah. That, you know, and then after that they'll give up. But then there's so much passion yeah. that you we, guys we, have we, shown. We actually start up with most artists with the first song, the yeah. first video. I saw we that today when I was them. waiting for you to... to when we before the interview I was watching I'm like who are these artists you like <laughs> you know and you guys are showcasing them it, it's amazing we give them platform yeah it's just quite amazing well it seems to be quite a moment so many questions but yeah. thank goodness we chit chat and call and I'm long say I'm waiting for that invitation because we definitely <laughs> want to give a whole life on the spotlight mm -hmm. and of course you know as always say keep giving us more music honey. thank we you one more of it thank and you and please don't ever say you're resigning because you'll kill us <laughs> That's the fans. <laughs> no, I'd love to just mature. You know, I want my music to mature with my age, with my experience, yeah. but not not to quit, no. Yeah. Mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope I asked it all. If I missed anything, we should look for her again. But of course, it's been a minute right here on the bucket. We can do it again and again and again. But for now, we sign up and we're out.